Hi everyone, it's me Darlene and it is, it's hot. The temperature is 105 degrees and it's very humid on top of that. So uh, I don't know what it feels like, but it, it feels hot. <laughs> I know that much. I just ran into Walmart and I wanted to do a car vlog. I wasn't intending on going to Walmart, but I thought I'll run in, run out, and that's what I did. And now I am um, going to talk to you for a little bit about a couple of things. First, I picked up a pair of distressed jeans a couple days ago that I wanted to put on eBay. Now eBay is not a new business for me. I have been consistently selling on eBay for 23 years. And even though I haven't been promoting things lately, I still have fabric uh, in my eBay store at flat rates. But I like to do auctions, so I did one. Distressed jeans. I'm trying that only because I really want to get back into eBay and I thought I would do something a little bit different and I want to see if I could maybe flip some clothes from the thrift store. Now that's not going to be any kind of a, a money maker for me, but it, it just keeps me involved with eBay and my auctions. I like to do that. I've been doing it a long time and I want to continue. And I'm just curious. So I have a pair of distressed jeans. All the info you need is in the auction description and I will link to that in the description box of this video. My eBay name is Darlene Misho, but eBay does not have an easy way for you to search by seller. So just go uh, look at the description box or you can go to my Facebook, Darlene Misho, because I post all that stuff there too. I guess that's it about, about eBay. I still have my ideas for other things that I want to start. But like I said, eBay is not new for me. I know somebody must have thought that because they were explaining to me how eBay worked. Yeah, I've been on eBay, like I said, 23 years. It was so much easier back then. Easier, but not. There was no PayPal when I started. You know, nothing like that. I had to email winners myself and say, you won and you owe me this much and send me a check or money order. You know, that's how ancient it was back then. So it's much easier, but just, you know, there's always new things to learn and I'm willing to learn them. Okay, the next thing is, oh, I am going to read a comment to you in a little bit, and but I want to talk about my night out last night at Neal's. Neal's is famous for not having good AC or just not wanting to pay the AC bills, <laughs> the electric bills for running good AC, and uh, it was, it was so fucking hot in that place last night that um, even before we were dancing, both Jeannie and I were sweating. I could feel sweat running down my back and I hadn't even started dancing and my face was all hot like it is now and, and my hair was starting to get wet and I was like, I can only imagine what this night is going to be like. The good thing is everybody was hot and it was like laughable. People were like, oh my God, it is so hot in here and we were still dancing but I still didn't see anybody with a completely soaking wet head like I had. <laughs> I was in the bathroom in the stall at one point and a woman came in and she goes, oh my god, my hair is soaking wet and I'm in the stall and I'm like, you mean somebody else like me? And when I came out I was like, your hair's not even wet. And she goes, yes, look, right here. And I was like, but look at me. I mean, it looks like I just got out of the shower. <laughs> so, still, I'm still the only one with a completely wet head when I'm dancing. And uh, Sean, uh, one of the band members, after after they were done, comes up to me and he's like, hello, hot mama, or something like that, because they know I'm Derek's mom. And he takes my hair and he's like wringing it out in the back. And normally I'd be embarrassed by something like that, but they're all so used to it now. It's just my thing. Everybody just knows that I'm going to get soaking wet hair. Uh, it, it, it is very hot. It's dripping. So, But the night, other than that, was good. Lots of friends there. D danced almost every song. Sometimes I felt like I could possibly pass out on this dance floor, but I was drinking plenty of water and I was like, if I pass out, I pass out. Somebody will help me. I'll say, put me in my chair, give me some more water, and I'm not leaving. So that's how I would have handled it because I was having a good time. Good music, good people. Derek came out. I always love that. And um, 
got to talk to a lot of people. It was just, it was a good night. I enjoyed it. And Jeannie did too, as hot as we were. Uh, Jeannie did too, but everybody was saying, all the women, I, I was with a lot of different women, and we were all saying how we didn't even want to go to the bathroom because everybody's like, I can't even pull my jeans up. My, my legs and jeans are so wet and damp. And I was like, same here. I had a hard time just getting them down. It's like everything. We were soaking wet, soaking wet. When I got home, half of my shirt was just drenched and uh, my bra completely wet. <laughs> But so hard to take the pants down and put them back up. So we were just laughing and having fun. It was it was uh, good, but I'd still rather have uh, air conditioning, good air conditioning. Going out again tonight with Jeannie Hadley's good air conditioning there, and I hope to have a, an equally fun night. And so, okay, I think that's it for going out. And now I want to tell you about a couple of comments. Uh, it's just funny to me how people can be at the other end of things um, opposite ends let me just look for the comments you know what I'm dying in here and it will be much easier if I go to my computer I just wanted to read you at least one comment that sticks out in my mind so let me just go home and I'll see you in my office okay these are two comments that have to do with dawn and one of them is like you know, this end, and the other one is at this end. Two different opinions about things. It just cracks me up, you know, the things that people say. But anyway, let me just read it to you. Darlene, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, the video is Car Vlog Chit Chat. It's like just before this one, and I was explaining uh, a 3 a.m. text uh, from my friend Don, a guy that I was seeing, and from a dating site and it's been ongoing for like three and a half months and he has given me permission to talk about him at least he had said he had nothing to hide and I like to talk about things that involve alcoholism because I know a lot about that alcoholic sober uh, 20 plus years and, um, and my husband died of alcoholism so and my brother too so I know a little bit about it so you can go watch that video but this person said, Don has family around, which you mentioned before. Drop Don for good until he sobers up. It's not healthy. And here's the part that I don't like. It was a mistake going to his place. It's not ladylike. So before I get into that, and I'll read you my reply to her. Drop Don for good. I think it was apparent in my video that some people watch and they, I guess they just get other ideas, that that's what I had done. I had dropped him, dropped on for good until he sobers up. Maybe that person doesn't even want me to have any contact at all until he would be sober if he ever gets sober. But no, I stand by my decision of having told him that if he needs help with sobriety, he can contact me. And I also said in another video that the help I will offer him at this point would be that I could take him to rehab. I'm, I'm not going to just, you know, play games and say, oh, can you come over? I need help. Come over and then, you know, he's cracking open a beer. I'm not going to sit there through that. No. If he, if he wants to go to rehab, I'll help him with that. And that's about the extent of the help that I will give him at this point. Um, okay. It was a mistake going to his place. It's not ladylike. What the fuck does that mean? mean are women supposed to act a certain way just because they're a woman i'm supposed to act ladylike because that would be acting right or am i not ladylike it, can't this be a picture of what ladylike is somebody who's honest and tries to understand and be compassionate and all that stuff <sighs> It was a mistake going to his place. It was not a mistake. He and I texted. He and I were, you know, very open and about what we want. I mean, I knew he didn't want a relationship, even though his dating page says that. And I knew I couldn't really talk to him about those things. He's emotionally unavailable. And a lot of that is because he's an alcoholic. 
It, nothing I did was a mistake. I'm very well aware. A mistake would be that, um, I don't know, I'm just driving by somebody's house and I knock on the door and say, can I come in uh, and, and just, you know, hang out with somebody here and watch TV? That might be a mistake. <laughs> that was the wrong house. I don't know. No, it's, it's not a mistake what I did. I, uh, I knew what I was doing and I chose to do it. A, a choice that's mine is not a mistake. And it's not ladylike. I just wish people would get off their high horses um, about how somebody is supposed to act. Uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Am I supposed to like just be like, oh, oh, um, yes, I, I can't go see you. It's not ladylike. What if I fucking want to go see him? You know, what if that's something I'm very interested in doing for whatever reason? And it's something that I have thought about and decided on, I'm not going to pretend something that I'm not or put on airs or act a certain way to try to like maybe get somebody to do something a way that I would like. No, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be myself. And uh, I, I don't even know what ladylike means. To me, it, it should mean anything a woman feels like doing. That's being ladylike. That's being true to yourself. All right? Now let's go to another comment. Now listen to... Uh, and no, I didn't lose my black glasses. I, I left them in the car. Here's uh, the opposite end. And Oh, I wanted to read you the, the reply to the other one. Because you know. You know I like, to, I like to reply. It was not a mistake. It was a decision I made, and I don't regret any part of it. And fuck all that ladylike bullshit. Who do you think I am? A lady? LOL. I threw the LOL in, in case that person doesn't have any kind of a sense of humor. <laughs> okay, now here's this one. I'll link to this video in the description box. It's car vlog chit chat. And you'll find a bunch of comments in there. And this is the pinned one, right at the top. <laughs> I... I couldn't even begin to give an answer because uh, there was just so much I wanted to say. I did reply, though, and I'll let you know. Have you considered asking Dawn to live with you for a while? <laughs> you could help him detox, and he could keep you company. Does this person know anything about what I've been through for the past 30 years taking care of my mother? <laughs> but then get this line. Dawn could help you with your new doodling business. <laughs> I don't... First of all, I never said I was starting a doodling business. I said I'd like to doodle, maybe sell some prints. How the hell does anybody help you with doodling, a doodling business? How is he helping? Going to tell me what lines to draw on the paper? Pick my color markers? I, I, don't, I don't know. Have you considered asking Dawn to live with you for a while? Oh, you guys, feel free to go comment and list the 100 reasons why. You know, 100 of you, go reply and each give a reason. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with that. Like I said, uh, first of all, it's none of my business to take care of him. Here's another thing. He's never even been to my apartment. You think I'm going to get him to come live here? One time when he asked for help, I told him, I'm busy till 6. I can come over after that. We can watch TV together. We can talk about this, about your drinking. I did go there. We did watch a movie. But he was drinking at the time, and... He didn't want to talk about it at all. So I knew. I knew he just wanted me there for company. And I had the choice to leave or stay. I felt like staying, kicking back and watching TV on a big screen uh, with somebody else out of my apartment. I made that choice. He's not using me. Some of you said he's just using you. Can't use me when I know everything that's going on and, and I'm making my own choices. Maybe I'm using him. Have you ever thought about that? Huh? Um... Yeah, so, uh, but I'm not using him. If I was using him for anything, I'd still be trying to use him. No, I'm out of his life. I, it, the drinking was just over, over the top. And that happened very quickly there in the past few weeks. So, I'm good. I'm good, folks. Don't worry about me. And 
I'm not going to make stupid choices. Um, I'm also not going to act ladylike. <laughs> so there's so many reasons why I would not invite him to live here. And yeah, and I had said to him that day when I was only going to be able to see him like around six because I was recording for you guys, I said, I can go get you and you can come hang here. No, he's never come here. And I've made offers several times as to like, we could do this. You could stop by, pick me up, see my apartment. No, it never happened. Um, so he's not going to come and live here. And I, I, I could help him with detox. I don't feel like doing that. I said, I'll, I'll give him a ride to rehab. I'll offer that help. And yeah, I hadn't actually thought about him helping me with my doodling business. <laughs> so here was my reply. Just, are you fucking kidding me? Four, four question marks at the end. That's how much I was shocked. <laughs> and somebody else said, what a suggestion. And then somebody else just gave like a, a crooked smiling with tear, like tears of laughter emoji. Okay, you get the picture? You know which emoji I'm talking about? That kind. <laughs> so you can go leave a comment if you want. And seriously, just list all the reasons that I, I would never want to do that, or nor should I ever do that. But I have learned that when I read a comment, sometimes the people go and they uh, delete it. So if you don't see it, it's because that person deleted it. It's the pinned comment on this video that I will have linked in the description box. And I think I'm going to stop now. I'm going out tonight. I want to get ready. And uh, yeah, time for me to upload this and, and get ready to go out. Go check out my eBay auction. Uh, the link is in the description also. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!